five o'clock somewhere. What's going on, YouTube? It's Bobby B from Rayton Productions. And today I'm not doing an audio tutorial. I'm actually going to talk about how to connect your Gmail or your inbox with your Trello account so that when you get orders from your website or you get orders, let's say, from soundbetter.com, um, they'll automatically generate a card in your Trello board so that you know what's going on. And so this can work for any type of business. It doesn't have to be music production or mixing or any of that stuff. You can uh, use this. You just need to have a subject uh, from the email that comes in that is the same every time when an order is placed. This is, by the way, completely free. Let's start by um, going to Zapier. Zapier.com. Okay, so you should have an account. Make an account, and when you log in, you, you get a few free, they call them zaps, which are connections. So to get started, we're going to connect our Gmail, which is right here, to Trello. Now we need to define what the triggers are. So that's going to be when that email comes in from Gmail with that subject line. And we're going to have it make a card in Trello. So when this happens, select a trigger. It's going to be a new labeled email. And I'll show you why it needs to have the same subject every time. At least this is the only way I figured out how to do it. So new labeled email. Then do this. We're going to create a card. Okay. Use Zap. Okay, so I've already connected my Gmail to Zapier. Basically, once you put in your Gmail information, uh, you're going to choose the inbox you want. So we're going to use mine. And we're going to just going to continue. Now, we need to set up the labeled email. Now, what this is, is when the subject line for our order comes in, like, like order number or whatever, you need to have Gmail automatically label that to a, specific, a unique label so that when Zapier sees that label, it can make a card for that email. So let's, um, let's go to Gmail right now and let's, let's set up a unique label so we can do that. Okay, so once you're in, you're going to go to this gear on the right side, go to settings. Now we're going to go to filters and blocked addresses here. And in the middle, down at the bottom, we're going to go to create a new filter. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. I am a mixing and mastering engineer on soundbetter.com. So I want to look for any email from soundbetter.com or just sound better. And if you put the asterisks before and after, it can be anything before and after. It just has to have sound better somewhere in there. Um, but if you have like a WordPress site where you get emails uh, or orders that are sent to you, you can just put wordpress.com and or whatever uh, the email address is that, that sends you the orders. Under subject, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put asterisk before. And I know that every email that from them is going to say is now funded and active. So we're just going to put two asterisks before and after. So that will, if they change anything uh, before or after, it's not going to invalidate this. Okay, so now we know that it will find all emails from SoundBetter that come in. And if they have a subject that says is now funded and active, it's going to um, work. If you don't have the same subject each time, uh, maybe you might have the same words in, a, in the body of the email. If that's the case, then you can enter that in the has the words uh, form right here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is create a filter. So now the question is, when a message arrives that matches this search, we want to give it a unique label. So we want to apply the label and we want a new label. Now we just enter the label that we want to name it. In this case, we'll call it RP since my company is called Raytown Productions and order since it's a new order coming in. And I want to keep everything organized. So I'm just going to nest it under my company's folder in my, G my Gmail. Okay, then we click create. So we're good to go on this end. And that's basically it. Now that filter is in, we're going to go back to Z uh, Zapier. 
And now under the label mailbox um, form, we need to have it update all of our labels. So we're going to go to check Gmail and reload to bring in new choices. Okay, now we see that here is our label that we created, Rayton Productions, RP order. So we click continue. Okay, now we need to, uh, we're going to test out this filter. So we're going to pull in samples. So um, it found a bunch of emails, okay, that meet, that meet that criteria. So the email is from SoundBetter and it also has, um, is funded and active. So we're going to continue. Now we want it to talk to Trello. So we're going to choose Trello. We want it to create a, a card for us. So it's going to add it to our to-do list, essentially. So we create a card, or you can create a board if you want, where each order makes a new, brand new board. So we'll continue. Uh, my Trello is Rayton Productions. That You probably have this one. You might have to connect your account. It's really straightforward. Um, but just connect your account and then choose the right one. All right. So now I'm going to choose the board and... We're going to have it be the Rayton Productions mixing queue. If you don't have the board made, you might have to go to Trello and, and make a new board first um, and, then, and then just choose it here. In this board, I have a series of things, that, uh, tasks that need to be done for each order. The first thing I'm just going to have it dump this email into is the payment has been received. So when I load it up, I know payments received and I can proceed with finishing the order. The name is the what you want to call the card. So in this case, I'm, you, I'm going to click this plus, this insert a field, and so this dissects the email, and you can find something that, uh, some text or some parameter that you want to name the card. So in this case, I'm just going to have it name it the, um, the subject. So it's going to be the job song mix for sync radio is now active, or now funded and active. So I'll be able to match up song mixed for sync radio with my sound better account. And I know exactly what order that is. Description, if you want anything in there, you can add it. I typically don't use that. And I want the card position to be on the bottom so that it's sorted from the oldest first to the newest at the bottom. Okay. You can put due dates here. Um, it's up to you what you want. They have a bunch of things. I just, I'm not going to do any of this stuff. But you have lots of other options that you can choose. You can also add checklist items and all that. Um, but we just want to connect the two things. We don't want to worry about that. All right. So let's send a test card to Trello. So it's going to go, and this is just an overview of everything we're going to do. So you want to make sure that all this information looks good and then hit send test to Trello. Test card has been sent, so let's log into our Trello account. We're going to choose the board that we created to manage our orders. And there it is. Payment received. Here's the card it created. The job song mix for sync radio is now funded and active. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know that it helped you. I usually don't do tutorials like this. I usually do more mixing and music related stuff. But this helped my workflow so much that I had to share it with everybody. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. And I'll see you in the next video.